This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, well, let's okay. get to the rumors. Let's talk about Cardi B. Cardi B, congratulations to her. Okay, she is breaking records. I'll let her tell it to you, though. Here's Cardi B. I got three songs on the top ten. You know how that make a bill and then i want to say thank you everybody for downloading Barty and cardi it's on the hot 100 on billboards it entered at number 14 like that is so crazy to me i remember when boda yellow uh first hit the entry on the hot 100 and it was number 85 and i'm just so thankful thank you everybody you know what i know we all got children but i'm telling you i think he loved me the most i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> so congratulations, yeah, congratulations to, to Cardi. Her. Now, Cardi B is only the third act ever, and she's also the first rapper to place her first three Billboard Hot 100 entries in the charts top 10 simultaneously. So she has three songs in the top 10 simultaneously, and it's her first three songs ever. Right, the joint with g Easy, Motorsport, and then Bodak Yellow. Yes, so congratulations. That's a big deal. The only other two people who did that before was the Beatles, okay, and right. Ashanti. And Ashanti. Yes. Well, congratulations so- to Cardi B. She deserves it. She works hard. Yes, yeah, she does. And just nothing for nothing, though. I do like that La Modelo song. I don't know what she's like saying that? in it. The but Latin song? It sounds good to me. I like it. I don't know what she's saying either. All right. Anyway, congratulations to DJ Khaled. We're just congratulating people this morning. He just signed a deal with Weight Watchers. And they said the stock in Weight Watchers actually rose more than 6% after he signed on. He said he also has lost 20 pounds on the program, and he's going to be going. He's going to be promoting that. You know, Oprah has a 10% stake in Weight Watchers right. also. Congratulations so. to Cal. The only thing about that is you can't gain weight because it just looks bad for your brand, looks bad for what you So you just have to he has stay. no choice. He has no choice but to stay healthy and, you know and stay working out. you know about his money, okay? That's right. He's going to be Snapchatting, losing weight and everything. That's right. Congrats to Khaled. Now, let's talk about how Win- Oprah Winfrey, though, she got her shares for $43 million. Mm-hmm. just three years ago, less than three years ago. Now her investment is worth $282 million. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she stays. When there's nothing that she can do that Maybe you might lose. have to get fat and lose weight. I thought about it, though. When, when <laughs> Kyla signed a deal, I said I should gain a lot of weight and, and try to get on the same plan. But All congrats right. to them. Now, She's Gotta Have It has been renewed for a second season on Netflix. Here is Spike Lee talking about the new show. The new happy season. New Year. Spike and I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. And there's going to be a second season where she's going to have it. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats to Spike Lee. You Spike know, Lee's I watched that show. So. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't? I haven't seen that. Well, you better go binge watch She's Gotta Have It. I haven't seen El Chapo no yet. No, I haven't seen none of that stuff. I got to catch up. Well, did you see White Famous yet? No. Okay, well, it's been canceled. Everybody says it's funny, though. Right, and that is a show that was from uh, producer Jamie Foxx, and Jay Farrell was starring in that show. It was loosely based on Jamie Foxx's life, Mm -hmm. and it got about 1.8 million viewers per week when everything was tallied up together, so they said it just wasn't good enough for Showtime. And congrats... Oh, Justin Timberlake. If you're a big Justin Timberlake fan, by the way, he has a new album coming out. It's going to be coming out February 2nd, and it's called Man of the Woods. He also put out a one-minute trailer just to kind of preview what's going to be happening on this album. Here's what he said. This album is really inspired by my son, my wife, my family, but more so than any other album I've ever written where I'm from. And it's personal. Where's he from? What? He said where he's from. Where's where's he from? Do we know? Do you know where he's from? Ain't he from like Tennessee or Memphis? Oh, Tennessee. Okay. Is he? I don't know. Yeah, that's what our producer said, Tennessee. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, there you have it. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.